Okay, best flashlight for tube light painting 2019 edition. Do I really have six flashlights on the table? It used to be simple. You remember those days when we were using only the Eagle Tag D25 SC2? That was the beginning, everything was more simple, but it got more complex and there's a reason for that. Uh, we're creating different visuals and need different tools. So let's start. Follow them up, 18650S cold white version. This is a new flashlight. It's been on the market for a few weeks and it's currently available from my website, lightpaintingtubes.com. I'm giving it with some of the big kits like the 15 tubes kits. You have this one that comes with, it comes with a battery, so it's great. It's powerful, not as powerful as my other flashlights, but quite close. So it's a really good option and it's so small. It's the smallest one you can find with that brightness so really good option here and you can find also on amazon starting at 34 dollars more or less second option big surprise something i found a few days ago so it's not been tested in the field yet but it feels solid and, and it has pretty much everything i'm looking for it might become the the flashlight that I'm using most of the time. So yeah, it's 1100 lumens. So it's bright enough for the blue hour. I measured it on the tube. It's, it's really a really good one. And what's very special about this one is that the, the side button is near the, the rear part. That means you can always access it when, it's, when the, the flashlight is inside the tube. That is great. So. You turn it on with a single press and then you can change the brightness level with the side button. And if you hold it, then you go on constant strobe mode. How great. Um, this one is, so this one is $40. That's a really good price. So it's a WowTac BSS V3. Okay, next one, my current favorite. It would be so perfect. There's only one thing is the bezel. Look at that. It's, this is a weapon. So I, I don't feel comfortable traveling with this sometimes and you cannot remove it. So I asked them, is, there, is it possible to have a version without the striker part? So it's, it's called the Olight M1X striker. I just want to remove the striker because this is the only flashlight that has everything. So. You can control most of the feature from the back button. There's a side button here that is never in the way. Sometimes it's, it gets a bit, um, you know, when it's inside the tube, you, sometimes you, you, you hit it and then it changes the brightness. It never happens with this one because it's very flush. So you turn it on and, and it has a memory mode. That's the only one here on the table with memory mode. So if I go to the brightest level, I turn it on, it stays there. Same thing, go back to lowest one, turn it on. If I want to go on strobe, I simply hold the side button, then I'm always on strobe. And what I also really like is that when I turn it on, that's the memory, the last mode that I was using. But if I half press twice, I go on brightest mode. And if I half press three times, then it's strobe. So I can access everything from the back button, which is great. It's solid and waterproof. That's been my main light for the past month. So super good one. It's a bit more expensive. It, this, one is, this one is $68, but it really worth it. So I'm currently traveling with two of those all the time. Next, the most expensive one, but the brightest one, it's 20% brighter than my top other one. 20% brighter than the Olight. So it's a Claris XT2CR. XT2CR, is that it? Yeah, XT2CR. And it's uh, $84. Yeah, that's it's quite beefy, but I think it's worth it. It's 1600 lumens. Yeah. That's a lot of power. I know what you're thinking. 
Those of you guys who know Claris, you know that there's no constant strobe. I found a hack. It's a very stupid hack. I'm going to talk about it in a few days. So let's keep that aside for the moment. I'm going to travel with this one. I'm not sure if that 20% is something that is helpful or not. Because what that means is just that you can start a bit earlier at night which can be good because you're, you can gain probably three minutes of shooting by having 20% more light. So is it worth it? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. So these are the main four flashlights for the blue hour. I'd, I'd say currently the Olight M1X Striker would be the best. Now let's move on to the more specialized flashlight. I already talked about this one many times, the Nightcore MT22C. And this one has a dimmer. So I'm using this flashlight for two bright painting plus astrophotography when I need to get to a very specific brightness. So I turn it on and there's the dimmer right here on the side. Very easy to be super precise. So I'm using this one. So I'm using this one late at night when it's pitch black with the stars, the Milky Way. I've been using this one for a year and really like it. Last one, the outline flashlight. I already talked about this one a little bit. It's still new for us. And this one is very different. I'm using it on top of and it has a side light. So this is how I create outlines like this picture right here. So if I turn it on, I have to press three times and then you can see there's the, this light on the side right here. So you can get this one on Amazon. Just look for a COB flashlight and you, you'll find it for a few bucks. I'm also selling it on lightpaintingtubes.com and it comes with this dimmer here, which is just a piece of plastic that makes it easier to hide part of the light. You really need a dimmer when you're working at night because it's just way too bright. So with this dimmer, you can select the right brightness. If you already bought that flashlight, just use black tape and, and move it around. So that's gonna do the same things. But I'm going to include that thing for the, the upcoming sales of that, uh, that flashlight. And well, that's it for the moment. I'm pretty sure some of you guys, I found different options that's working for you. So just let me know what flashlight you prefer. I know that so many of you went ahead with the Olight M1X Striker. I'd like to have your feedback. Does anyone got arrested because of the bezel? I want to know. So just give me some feedback and I'll get back to you very soon with some other reviews and more tricks.